Cara Delevingne is in the news for the weirdest reason ever. The model and actress typically turns heads for being an absolute tell, but lately she's in the news for being extremely weird and off-putting during the Billboard Music Awards. Her behavior went viral online and tons of people are accusing her of having used a cocktail of substances before she went to the awards show as that seems to be the only explanation for her real unexplainable conduct, including being really weird and I guess goblin-y towards Megan Thee Stallion the entire night. And Megan herself seemed really turned off by the whole thing, even sharing a photo of her and Doja Cat with Cara photoshopped out of it. Today we're covering and Cara Delevingne. Tomorrow though, you decide. Let us know in the comments down below who you think we should cover on the next episodes of Where Are They Now. While you're there, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it so we can keep making videos similar to this in the future. Let's get into it. Cara Delevingne was born in London as the daughter of a stylist and a property developer. She's also got two older sisters and a half brother. She attended a girls school in central London until she was 16. She's a learning disability and found school extremely difficult. In a 2015 interview with Vogue, Cara spoke about her battle with depression when she was 15 years old. Quote, I was hit with a massive wave of depression and anxiety and self-hatred, where the feelings were so painful that I would slam my head against a tree to try and knock myself out. Eventually, however, she decided that school would not be for her and she dropped out to follow her older sister Poppy into modeling. That being said, that was only when she decided to pursue it full time. In fact, Cara had been involved in modeling since she was only 10 years old, appearing in an Italian Vogue editorial shot. She signed with Storm Management a few years later and worked in the industry for a year before booking a paying job, went through two seasons of castings before landing her first runway show. In 2012, she was scouted by Burberry while she worked part-time in the office of a fashion website, and her first catwalk appearance was at London Fashion Week for Burberry. She got her big break around 2012 while working for Chanel. She also got to appear at the New York Fashion Week when she worked in nine shows for tons of different designers. It was during her time at Fashion Week that Cara made a lasting impression on Chanel's head designer and creative director, Carl Lagerfeld. In an interview after the show, with Elle, Lagerfeld stated, quote, Cara is different. She's full of life, full of pep. I like girls to be wild, but at the same time, beautifully brought up and very funny. Basically, until 2014, Cara was on top of the world, consistently working for brands like Chanel, Fenty, Tommy Hilfiger, and like basically any other ones you can think of. Then in 2015, it was noted that Cara had decided to become a bit more selective with the show she set herself to appear in. This was the beginning of the decrease in volume of catwalk rules. At the time of her scale back, she said that it was because she wanted to focus on her budding acting career. But a year later, Time Magazine published an essay that she penned where she said that the real reason why she decreased the number of show appearances was because she wanted to refocus herself. Quote, it's taken time, but now I realize that work isn't everything and success comes in many forms. I've opened my mind and now I embrace new things with a childlike curiosity. I'm spending more time doing the stuff I love and I've been able to do better work because of it. She did, however, continue to appear with Burberry Walks and did work semi consistently with Alexander Wang and Givenchy. She also appeared in a solo cover of Vogue, The Wall Street Journal, and Love alongside Kendall Jenner. But that being said, Cara was also equally interested in pursuing acting. She played her first film role in Anna Karenina alongside Kira Knightley. She also played in a psychological thriller called The Face of an Angel. Most notably, however, was her lead role in the movie Paper Towns. She played Margot, the main character's love interest who he spends the whole movie chasing. Variety Magazine called Cara's performance, quote, the real find of the film. On the evidence of her work here, this striking actress is here to stay. She also played a mermaid in the 2015 movie Pan and as Enchantress in Squad, an action film based on the DC comic book of the same name. The film got panned, to say the least, at the box office, although Cara's role specifically did pretty all right, especially when compared to Jared Leto's. She was also a lead in the Amazon Prime video fantasy steampunk series called Carnival Row, where she plays a fairy war refugee. As for her personal life, Cara is notably pansexual, as someone who disregards gender as a factor in whether or not she's attracted to an individual. In 2015, she was in a relationship with St. Vincent, although they separated a year later, which I only bring up as we fast forward to the last few days where she was acting super bizarrely at the Billboard Music Awards. She absolutely stole the show at the awards despite the fact that she isn't best known for being a musician, let alone a nominee. Her behavior on the red carpet and during the actual ceremony arguably overshadowed the actual winners from the evening, with many of her escapades going viral on social media. Her antics began on the red carpet before the show when she was spotted peering around a corner to watch Megan Thee Stallion as she posed for the waiting photographers. With her eyes transfixed on Megan, 
Michigan, Kara was shouting inaudibly and sticking her tongue out before she eventually ran onto the carpet and grabbed the train of Megan's custom muggler dress to give the photo some added movement. Kara repeatedly tossed the train into the air for the cameras, and although Megan laughed politely at first, people have argued that glimmers of irritation appeared to cross her face as Kara crashed her red carpet moment. Things only got stranger during the show when Kara seated next to Megan and behind Doja Cat. At one point, Megan and Doja were having a conversation when Kara interrupted by popping up between them and telling Doja, quote, Babe, I love you so much. And when Megan won the award for rap female artist, Kara could not hide her excitement as she leaned into Megan and stuck her tongue out while pulling a face. As Megan made her way onto the stage, Kara once again grabbed the train of her dress and instead of throwing it like she did on the red carpet, she simply ran her hands down the fabric. Kara then leaped out of her seat and dramatically applauded Megan's win. Finally, she was seen writhing on the floor as she took a photo of Doja posing with Fat Joe and DJ Khaled. As a selection of BBMA videos of Kara began to circulate online, people started sharing clips of the star behaving in a similar way at past events. One was filmed earlier this month when Kara was spotted seemingly leaning in to kiss Megan at a Met Gala after party. In the short video, which gained traction after it was shared by gossip Instagram account Dumois, Megan reacted by putting her hands on Kara's shoulders and gently pushing her away. Glad people finally seeing Kara Delevingne as a menace to society because why was she trying to kiss Megan at the Met Gala after party? Another uncomfortable moment was captured at Leah McSweeney's Halloween party last year during Azalea Banks' performance of 212. Kara got on stage mid performance and grabbed the mic from Azalea, speaking incoherently to the crowd before the visibly confused musician was able to take the microphone back. Kara then kneeled on the floor and began to grab and lick Azalea's legs, with some sharing the video and writing, quote, Can we ban Cara Delevingne from Hollywood? This pattern of behavior has now sparked a wider conversation about Cara's treatment of Megan, Doja, and Azalea, with some accusing her of fetishizing black women as they called her out for repeatedly making people feel uncomfortable. Others think that she was simply on a cocktail of substances and acting completely out of control because of something that she took before the event. I mean, watching this video, she doesn't exactly look coherent. One Twitter user wrote, quote, Do people realize what Kara was doing last night was fetishizing and dehumanizing black women. Another user wrote, quote, Maybe Cara Delevingne harassing and touching black women without consent isn't funny actually. And now it seems like Megan Thee Stallion may have done a clapback in her own way by reposting a group photo from the Billboard Awards show, but Cara seems to have been completely cropped out of it. After the show was over, Megan took to her Instagram account to celebrate her win and repost some sweet snaps from the night. However, some eagle-eyed followers couldn't help but notice something unusual about one of Megan's photos from the ceremony. One picture in particular, Kara was very remarkably cropped out, despite sitting right beside Megan. Though Megan clearly didn't make the edit herself, fans swiftly started speculating that the repost had been a subtle nod to the online commentary surrounding Kara's strange behavior. Guess we'll see. Anyways, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can stay updated when we post our next video. Thank you for watching this episode of Where Are They Now? I've been your host, Sierra. See you guys next time.